So today, uh, as you've all seen, I've done. Uh, I've made a video earlier on. Um, and the same same clothes. <laughs> I have got changed today. Um, no. So so what today's been is I'm a bit more mellow now. I've just got a a calming role as we call them. Um, so I was originally I was going down to see um, the oncologist to sort of go about more that my head was clear about uh, going back on chemo this Gentax and there was things and you know all this spiritual bits and bobs that I'm into like you know I'm, I don't know whether some of you people are some of you people not but I'm not here to go into that right now um generally yeah we so we got to Castle Hill Paul behave yourself um and so it's a, signed in, went for a reception. <clears throat> As you go down, I went to like the room I'm supposed to go in, or, or like the waiting area even, um, where I'm, I'm greeted with sort of two or three nurses. Okay, now, um, and straight away they went, uh, "How are you? What's your name?" I told them my name and that. Um, who's it to see? I told them who I'm here to see. Oh, is, is it? Is it just you two today? Like, uh, well, no, my old boy's with me. He's just, um, he's just parking the car up. All right, well, you can't come in because of COVID rises and this, that, the other, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, ah, oh, okay, well, I'll tell you what, them two can go in. Um, and I was fairly serious because I not really wasn't bothered about going in. My, my head was in a bit of a swing before it. <laughs> Fucking dogs just up the stair gate. My head was in a bit of a swing before... Um, sort of any of this now she sort of I said that and she she sort of asked me to me and I thought oh I better sort of laugh it off as a joke so I laughed it off um, and uh, I said to her so so what's going to go on um, I, I want my old boy in, in the room this is this is quite serious business you know I don't know if you know or not um, it was my general uh, words to her I don't know if they was exact um, and it went a bit fuzzy from there, I can't really remember because uh, I went in a bit of a rage. I can't remember what I said, but basically she sort of got... I'm just re I'm getting really dry, I'm just going to stop and see a minute. As I was saying, on the mm. Yeah, as I was saying, um... Wah. Rhubarb. Fucking hell. Um, I, yeah, I was in a bit of a flap. Um, and I sort of, I went back out the doors, um, in a bit of a rage, uh, like, like she'd almost, within that split second, which seemed like an inter eternity to me, my, my mind had been from fairly poor, you look at my last video, you can see how I was this morning, even on the way down there, I was in a laugh with my real boy and listening to music and whatnot, um, and almost instantly, as soon as there was a little bit of, um, not, it is, it is sort of a, uh, annoying news, isn't it? Um, but because it was to do with COVID as well, it just, it just instantly like ignited a fucking fuse in my head. Um, which, again, there's, there's some videos that I, I might attach to this video if I remember, um, of me in Castle Hill, um, exactly how it was so what i'll do is I'll, I'll try and put them around here if i go through this and edit it i'll put it here if i ain't the fucking side i don't know what it is fuck this place can't take care uh, any more than two people in it so all you can't take anyone else in it's a fucking joke might as well turn around i'm not going in. people you're not allowed any more than two people in here so you can fucking ram it how do you go fuck no fuck you ram your keep up your ass so yeah there was them videos and long story short I goes uh, I eventually went in there after a lot of sort of flapping about going up and down corridors and um, talks between me and my mum and my dad um, I went in the room I even did a fucking flip heads and tails whether I should go in or not and it actually came up with tails which was me not to go in but I felt I needed to because uh, me and my dad wanted to hear what was going to be said so I went in. The, the audio 
for this. Uh, I have got, but I'm not going to publish that right now. I might put some parts up because um, I went in just to show you because this, this is raw, uncut bullshit. There'll be no names mentioned, but this is Castle Hill. Oh, anyways. Um, so we're in there and, and he's just saying, look, you know, how do you feel this out blah, blah, blah. Coming off the topic of, of jabs and COVID and all that stuff, I know people are very, very interested in what I've got to say with it. And I will use what I said to him in a separate video. So, long story short, we go in there, um, have a massive sort of, I blow all my steam off at him. I weigh 56 kilograms and I am, was it 100? No, not, wait, 117, something like that. I don't know what it was. I'm about fucking 5'8", something like that. So, you know, if you want to put it in stone, I think the last time I weighed me, I was, I was either 8 stone 1 or, or 8 stone. I can't remember. My lowest was 8 stone. So, um, I go through it, and towards the end, I know my mum's going to watch this, and my dad, and, and some other people, um, and at the end of the day, this is this is down to me, what I think's right. And I, I said in said a while ago, again, like I said, I publish everything that I fucking do. It's around that corner. I said, while I feel like this, I want to carry on feeling like this, whether my time's shorter than have a, a longer life, and it be filled with pain and, and shit from chemo, because I still use the oils. I still use everything else that I, that I had have. Which you can see on my Instagram, you can see on here, you can see on my Facebook, whatever you want to do. I'm very, very public with it. Um, so, I'm kind of, again, the catch 22 because I've said so many times that I put my kids right to the very, very back of my head. The majority of my family, my kids first, obviously. Uh, and. I can't remember what it's coming to. I've had a lot of this recently. Um, it was something to do with the chemo, wasn't it? Oh, bollocks, I can't remember. Um, oh, shit, fucking hell. I'll trim this bit out. Um, I don't like it. I can't remember what I'm saying. Either way, uh, right. Yeah, either way. Um, so, so we got these this fucking document printed off. Oh, that was what I was coming to, wasn't it? It was um, putting all my kids to the back of my mind, you know, you know all the important stuff. Um, so, so I went and um, got them to print off the the fucking the form um, that I needed to sign for chemo, and I signed it. I signed it today, um, which. Kind of relieved me, me fam, my mum, my dad, somewhat probably my family that I'm going to be told that I've signed it. Um, which brings me to it wasn't really, although it's my choice. I don't feel it is influenced, but so is. I mean, what, what, there's no there's no instructions that come with cancer. Is there's no there's no uh, what to do and what not to do. Fucking hell, if you want to go, oh, I can't say that because not for a fucking band or something. You know, don't copy me. You know, just if you want to look for some fucking support or whatever, then feel free to reach out to me. That's all I fucking am. I'm just a person going through it that wants to share it with the world. So, uh, yeah, I signed that. Let's cut the bullshit. So, we got out of it. Well, I come out of there. Um, oh, he, he wanted me to go for some bloods, which uh, to check my. Liver function, kidney function, you know, like the, the whole fucking works pre chemo again, so it's like all a test. Um, so, I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever, mate. Um, knowing that these people, again, you, you might have seen the video that I put up now, and if you haven't, it'll be at the end. The people that I walk past when I come back out the first time when I'm steaming because of the nurses, um, I, I've got to go sit around there, which not only is embarrassing for me because I couldn't come and control myself, and maybe I was a little bit loud, frustrated. You know, I was wearing a, a, a cancer can't kill what refuses to die Luke's Army hoodie, which some might find controversial or a bit insensitive in a hospital that's filled with cancer patients. But I'm a cancer patient myself, so I felt valid. 
your opinion is is your opinion you know you're entitled to it so you know um so yeah um I went, we went down to where, where the where i was supposed to go get the bloods and that and give the form in and that um i sort of went outside for a bit of a you know calm down and put my headphones back in for 10 minutes and it had the complete opposite effect i was i was still absolutely fucking raging um because of, of the, the nurses and this whole covid fucking it's on the increased bullshit and um while i was in there when i get around to the audio I, and i quote you can quote me on this i said to him uh, we're talking i'm firing questions at him because of this covid bullshit and it really annoyed me Yeah, I don't know what that was. I thought it was uh, someone opening the door or something. Anyway, yeah, this this COVID bullshit. Um, and I actually said to him, um, blah, 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 because he's wearing a mask. And he said, it's only been enforced today, this, that, and the other. I was thinking, no, it fucking wasn't. Because last time I come here, he was still fucking whinging about uh, having two, uh, three people in, in one room. When every fucker in that pissing um, vicinity, hospital, fucking place, whatever you want to call it, all sit together and walk past each other. <laughs> You're almost rubbing fucking shoulders with people. So what, what's the difference having fucking three people from one family and a doctor sat in a room? What's the fucking difference? Okay, we're well not from the same household, but at the same time, they're with me. You know, if and he's, he's referring to he's wearing his mask to protect me. Well, I've got these sat with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, anyway, it pissed me off. So yeah, um, by the end of it, I, I um, ended up saying, no, let's fuck, fuck it off. I don't want to do these blood night right now because, you know, it, it's been hard on my mum and dad and there was a bit of fucking, she, my mum's got some, some problems of her own and stuff and it's a lot of pressure on her. Um, and she buckled a little bit, which obviously put more strain on me and, and, and I, I can't take any more pain. So I walked off from people who know where Hull's Castle Hill is. I walked from uh, where the, the sort of uh, cancer bit is, which is right at the very back, um, down to the, the roundabout, which is pointing towards where the Umber Bridgeway is, which is the way that I was going to go home. Um, I was looking at getting a taxi, but I, I thought, fucking hell. All I've got on me is my phone, which is, you know, me, me uh, Android Pay fucking thing. And <laughs> I don't even know a fucking number for a taxi around here. But anyway, I, I, long story short, um, I ended up stopping at that particular roundabout because my old boy rang me up, where are you? I said, oh, I'm, I'm sort of walking down Blighty Bar. And, uh, you know, within a few minutes, there was, there was there. Um, which then sort of, you know, after all that, as you can imagine, I had to sort of come home because my daughter's... Um, was with us. I've got to sort of try and also always put all that to the back of my mind, forget it, I'm a big dad again, um, in front of her. Although I won't, I won't fucking show sure it. They both see me in, in pain when I can't help it. You know, sometimes things I don't want them to see. Yeah, that's just that's just the nature of this shit. I can't control it, and I can hide it as much as I possibly can. But this thing is, is, is as some people will know, ridiculous. Um, I was coming to something else and I fucking forgot again. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, I, I came home and obviously, like I said, you know, it needs to be trying to kind of switch off, um, which is what leads me to, to where I am now. I mean, we've come home, I have had a, a bit of it pain quite intense at pain, we was all going to go out to have a little bit of food. And one of my mates pubs, the Pear, the pear, uh, the pear Tree, Cleefobs, lovely pub. Um, yeah, and, and just as we was leaving, obviously I'm sat with Dad's passenger seat, he's driving, I get absolute crippling pain, I'm, you know, I'm bent over, I have to stagger back in the fucking house. Um, I've now got morphine, which does help a lot. All of our first impressions, I thought it was bollocks. Um, would I say it's better than cannabis or oils or any of the other stuff that I've been using throughout this journey? Not really. Um, because 
although it works and it does what it does, I don't know what the fuck it is. Cannabis, again, I couldn't tell you all the, the only bits and bobs that I'm sure I could tell you. Someone who can, but again, this is this is from the ground, isn't it? And I believe that <coughs> to be better. But again, yeah, I'm on morphine, so fuck it, whatever. Um, so yeah, and now I'm here. Um, all my oils and stuff up to date, and I'm like, I still need to get these fucking bloods done if I want, I'm going to take the chemo. Um, it's going to be like a two week wait, Gemtax, I think it's day one, day seven or eight, and then some fucking injections after that, so it'll be like fucking three, three things every three weeks, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, now I'm here, uh, half past nine at night, absolutely exhausted. Um, the, the, the Whitby weekend that we've just had, which I'm going to post a video next, which should be before this actually. Um, in fact, I will post that before this. Um, <clears throat> that was exhausting, but absolutely fucking fantastic at the same time. So yeah, that's where I am right now. There's, there's a lot of um, stuff I want to share. I want to post up, you know, rather than me just talking. I'm going to get back to the edits and stuff, where I'll uh, I'll be smashing on with stuff again, regardless of what path I take. And I don't really know right now. Hey, pooch. Um, so I'm going to leave it here. Um, shit. It's only it's only facing me this time. <laughs> it's, I'm, I've just been doing a full on dance. Oh, yeah. I'm finished now anyway. Oh, I, was, I was like that, Luke. <laughs>